Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy on the GeForce CTX 750Ti. For performance monitoring I'll be using Cam. If you want to download the software, there's a link down in the description. So Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip to any of those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. So before starting, I need to talk about something very important. If you were with me on the live stream while I was testing this game for the first time, you'll notice that the game was kept at 50 frames per second. Some people had the same problems, but at 20 frames per second or 55 something like that. In the end it seems like the game just picks the wrong refresh rate and that's it. For some reason while I connect my capture card the game thinks that I have a 50Hz monitor or something like that despite that I choose 60Hz which means that I had to record without using the capture card. I used Nvidia Share also known as Shadowplay so while recording there should be like 5 to 7 FPS less. So first of all I'll show you 1080p using the maximum settings and that's enough to be over 30 frames per second pretty much all the time. Then I switch to the lowest settings to see if we can get a smoother frame rate, maybe close to 60 frames per second. Unfortunately that's not the case, we are not hitting 60 frames per second anytime soon on 1080p. Also keep in mind that on 1080p I overclocked the GTX 750Ti, I added 200MHz to the core and 400MHz to the VRAM. On 900p and 720p the overclock is completely disabled. Then I switch to 900p and once again I show you the maximum settings, we are over 30 frames per second just fine. And then I once again lower the settings to the minimum to see what frame rate we get. We are closer to 60 frames per second but it's not perfect. Remember also I'm recording using Shadowplay so there's a performance hit on all resolutions in this video. And finally at 720p once again maximum settings then I lower the settings trying to hit 60 frames per second. At 720p of course it's much easier to do 60 frames per second. Just turn off anti-aliasing and lower shadows to medium and that's enough to maintain 60 frames per second the big majority of the time. So well in the options menu the options that gave me the biggest difference in performance first of all were shadow resolution Shadow resolution from ultra to high was already a significant performance difference. I recommend first lowering it from ultra to high. Then the anti-aliasing option is just FXAA, but I see a small difference in performance with that. And then for some reason with Amin Occlusion, I didn't see a huge difference in performance, which is kind of weird. That's usually a big performance hit on most games. And then the options I didn't mention just lower them in groups. But the main one is shadows, then anti-aliasing, and then the rest. And depending on which refresh rate your monitor has, in my case I have a 60 hertz monitor, so it says 60. 60 or 30 and the game has a 60 frames per second cap that was what most people were saying but some people with high refresh rate monitors found a way to go over the 60 fps cap so i don't get why they don't just let us unlock the frame rate or choose the refresh rate of the monitor so we don't have the issues that the frame rate is kept at 50 frames per second or 20 frames per second it will make things a lot easier for everyone also it seems to have some false p-sync even if i turn off p-sync sometimes you're just running around at 60 and then and i don't know an effects shows up and it goes down to 30 and a second later it goes up to 60 again in order to fix that i just disabled p-sync in the video control panel and that was more than enough to maintain a consistent frame rate. Hopefully they release a fix to sort it out and add more options into the options menu. Even on a 1050 Ti I can do 60 frames per second on 1080p on almost the maximum settings. On a 1060 you can even do 1440p max settings just fine at 60 frames per second. So yeah it seems to be scaling quite well and to have a reference all the consoles running at 30 frames per second so it seems to be scaling very well even on lower end hardware. But yeah guys that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Oh my goodness. 